Many people believe that the brain is the seat of consciousness, yet important thoughts and feelings are carried out in ganglia, clusters of neurons found throughout the body. The mind stretches within the body and controls it. Conditions in the body reflect the mind, and damage to the body is damage to the mind as well. The most important virtue of a receiver is mental resilience, and the only way to build resilience is to practice rebounding from adversity. Cooper's fourth rule of gun safety is to know your target and what is beyond it. Bullets can penetrate a lot farther than most people think. Um, how many interior sheetrock walls do you think a typical 9mm bullet will go through? One? Uh, two? More like 20. In a typical gunfight, more shots miss than hit, but all bullets end up somewhere. Unless you live alone in a rural area, there is no pistol or rifle that won't put your family and neighbors at risk. Even hollow point rounds often miss or fail to expand. The safest choice for an effective internal home defense weapon in a populated area is a pump action shotgun loaded with a small buckshot or large birdshot.
In a disordered mind, fear and doubt will often attach itself to whatever events are happening at that moment. These misattributed, diverted feelings can become habitual, compounding the problem of accurate thinking. This leads to confusion, impaired decision-making, and more anxiety in a damaging feedback loop. Having thoughts in the present, one can escape this feedback loop. Where are you? What time and year is it? Who are you? What are you doing at this exact moment? What do you see? What do you hear? What do you really hear? This tape is designed to test your focus in the face of distraction. Maintain focus on your breathing. How did you do? If your attention wandered, that is normal. Just notice that without judgment. Let's try again. Good job.